All right, what's going on guys? I am back again with another video and for today's video I already know that I did make a tier list But for this video we are gonna be making a way more detailed farming tier list for update 5 So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and yeah, enjoy so like I said, we are pretty much making a detailed tier list. Now, when it comes to tier list, of course, you need to be strict with it. And this is what we're going to do in this video. So I think now we're actually going to be starting from worst to best. So farming wise, D, like just get that out of here. We have to get the garbage out first. We have to get the garbage out first. I'm sorry. These fruits are horrible. The funny thing about Kilo Kilo is that you'll think that this fruit will be wonderful for farming, but it's actually horrible. In the spin spin, I just don't like you. So these fruits 100% D ranks, they really are not useful at all for farming and it's just sad. Now let's move on to probably a, a rare this time. Gum Gum? Gum Gum is definitely a B. The Galling move and the Bazooka move are really, like, really good moves for farming, even the pistol. Um, gum gum pistol is a very good move for farming it can definitely help you for level grinding it can definitely help you for dungeons even cupid dungeon it was really possible to solo the whole thing by yourself with gum gum so definitely gum gum deserves a b rank uh, i think hodo hodo to be honest if i'm being honest with this fruit i don't know much about this fruit because i rarely see anyone use it but I've seen like people like fight me against with it and the only thing it really does is just just makes you depressed So if I was to rank I'll probably give it a C I don't like still I don't know much about it from farming wise But from seeing for you showcase and from seeing other people use it, I'll rank it a C I don't I wouldn't give it a B though, but C is definitely what it like what it's worth uh, Suna Suna definitely an A rank. It's a low gear type at the end of the day low gears Almost all the locusts on this list, they're probably going to be high ranks around A's and S due to the fact that they just have moves that are wonderful for farming. Suna has this one, um, the sandstorm move, which can just like call in like all the NPCs into one. So you could definitely solo dungeon with that. Mera Mera, definitely an S. Come on now. We already know this. Mera Mera is like the best, best fruit to farm for dungeon. Like if you need a fruit to strictly grind and to farm, this fruit will be your friend. It will be your best friend in it. It's very good for farming. Like, honestly, I feel like a lot of people, like, talk bad about it just because it's, like, not a lot of people use it. But definitely, it's probably one of the best fruits to use for farming. Now, Mochi Mochi, definitely an S rank, 100%. This fruit definitely has a lot of good moves. Like, a lot of good moves for farming. I think the E move for it could easily just wipe out like a whole bunch of NPCs at once. So you can definitely solo dungeon with that. Also, it's wonderful for grinding too. So yeah, Ito Ito, like, come on, like, I'm not even gonna, like, get out of here, bro. If you use this farm for fruiting, like, for farming, bro, I don't even know, like, I feel bad for you. You know what? I'll give you a C. Only reason I'll give this fruit a C is because it's not an uncommon. But at the same time, this fruit is horrible for farming. I would not recommend anyone using this fruit for farming. Just don't use it. Save yourself the trouble. Yes, you can probably solo dungeon with it, but you're, it's going to take you, first of all, like a long ass time. But yeah, you definitely could solo dungeon with it, but definitely a searing. It's not good. Barrier, barrier. Okay, Bari Bari. Come on now. This fruit, it's, it's going the A rank. This fruit is really good for farming, especially if you're dealing with a group of people. Because of Bari Bari, you could just put them all in one bunch, put the lid on them, and if you're farming with someone, like duo farming, like a Mera user, like Mera and these two fruits for duo farming, you will do so many dungeons and it will finish so fast, you don't understand. It's crazy. Like you will have like this is like the un like the best duo for dungeons, 100% those two fruits now ooh, this fruit is actually pretty good for farming i think it's called i i forgot one of the moves actually is like really good for farming i forgot the name but definitely it's really good because if you go all the way up in the moves you can just use the walking move i think i think it's called like skedaddle i forgot the name but yeah i think it's called that once you do that once the npcs are all in like one bunch you can just use one of the moves so this fruit is definitely taking the A rank because it's actually really good for farming at low key. I feel like a lot of people might talk down on me for that, but I've seen like, like even friends using it in dungeon. It was actually really good to use. So definitely I feel like it deserves an A rank. So I'm going to leave it right there. 
Oh, and another thing is that that food can revive you easily. So let's say you got knocked down by an NPC. If you use a revive move, you can actually like clutch a, a, a dungeon if you die by accident. Oh, I said that wrong by accident. <laughs> but next, we're actually gonna be moving on to Magma. Magma S rank 100%. Do, do I need to say anything? Do I need to say anything? Like, come on now. Do, I don't need to say anything. Kage Kage. Now this room. I like it because the shadow move is low key a clutch for dungeon. Now I've seen a lot of videos so far on YouTube about Kage Kage and dungeon, and this fruit is probably one of the best fruits to use. Probably the, I'm not gonna like say the best best compared to Mera, but if I was to compare this to Mera, like Kage Kage, it's it's up there. It's up there 100%. Obviously, it's gonna take you a long time to do the dungeon. I think it's had around 30 minutes, but still, it's a low key clutch. Um, definitely it's really good for farming because that move like can like low-key help you so this feels very good for dungeons 100% so I'm gonna give it the S rank 100% but bomb bomb come on now this definitely deserves an S rank it's bomb bomb use the self-destruction move even if you don't want to use that move most of the moves for bomb bomb can help you in um, dungeons 100% it's very good for farming another fruit that if you do it with someone probably these two combos bari bari with the bomb bomb fruit Definitely an elite combo to use for dungeon. You can easily get to 25. So definitely I'm gonna put that to the S rank. But if I was to grade it, I'll probably give it like in between an S and A. I'm unsure if I should give it an A or not, but I might give it an S because I'm feeling generous. So quick quick 100% S rank. This fruit is good for dungeons. 100% it is good for dungeons. Um low key for farming, it's really good too. I feel like the only issue with this fruit is that it's like overused it was overused at one specific time now it's kind of like a bit like just like stale if you know what i mean like um the trading value for this fruit is very low but this tier list isn't about trading it's strictly about farming so definitely an s rank now goro goro another good fruit to use for farming 100 percent taking the s rank as well i've personally used this fruit for farming easy you can easily get to 50 way 50 if you really got the time for that but you can easily get to 25 with this fruit. The Wrath move, the Block Breakers are very good move for, to use for Dungeon if you have the right stats. So 100% is taking the S rank. Now another good fruit for farming that's taking the S rank will be Zushi Zushi. Now this fruit, Gravity Dominance, 100% a good move to use. Now that it's a Block Breaker if they're in it. So even let's say NPC was blocking while I was in it. Easy block breaker. It can do decent amount of damage. So the push is another good move. The meteor is a really good all, even though it got nerfed. It's still really good. So definitely taking the S rank on that. Pika Pika, another fruit like magma and Pika Pika. There's really not much to say about these fruits because we already know they're good. We already know they're good for farming. Pika kick. Actually, any move for Pika is just good for farming. Papa. Now this fruit is a man for me because I don't know much about it currently. Um, I do know from the moves I've seen from it so far, they're pretty good for farming. So I would give it the I'm gonna get I'm gonna give it an S rank. 100 percent Most of the moves are, are for Papa. They're very good for farming, so definitely will take the S rank. Now, um Ice Ice know me. Come on now, this fruit's also taking the S rank. Like, come on, guys. All these fruits for like legit are W's for the S rank, especially Ice Ice. It's very good move. Also, it did get a buff, so it's just an overall really good move to use for farming. Tori Tori, oh my God, <laughs> the S rank slot is like carrying right now, bro. I I feel like I'm being a bit too generous with some of the fruits in this, but if I'm being honest, I've personally seen people use these fruits. I've seen many videos on these fruits, so I know if they're good for farming or not. And Tori Tori is another good fruit. You can use um, Phoenix Fire. It'll kill all the NPCs. If you take any damage, you can legit go hide, heal, come back. Like, come on now. Definitely taking the S rank. Marrow. Like, no. This is getting a D rank. This fruit doesn't really have much wide range attacks it's mostly individual that's why most of the people that use this fruit is only for pvp standards same thing with ito ito really not much to say about these two fruits really not that good for farming at all so i would not recommend anyone using it this fruit though recommend for pvp this one if you want to be like just annoying if you want to annoy someone for for just for fun definitely use that fruit as well but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for this video Kind of a quick video for today for a farming tier list. So if you guys enjoyed this tier list, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And 
Tell me now if I should make a PvP one next. See ya.